Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Adam and I'm going to be showing you my fish tank today. Basically it's a Fluval Flex 57, also I think it's known as the 15 gallon version. And um, I've done some modifications to the tank over time, so I've cut the back section out, I've added an external filter, the original flex light failed me so I ended up cutting a hole in the lid and <laughs> a couple more holes to let the external filter get into the tank basically. So I'll be going over the tank today and talking about the aquascape and the inhabitants of the tank. Currently in my well established tank I've got around 30 inhabitants so I've got a mixture of different species as you can see my pandagora there it's my little buddy I've had him for a while and a mixture of different types of tetras too so raccoon tetras, diamond tetras and I've also got a lot of different fish from different levels so you've got the bottom feeders like Corydora species so I've got stirby Cories, gold laser Cories I've got coolie loaches as well and I've also got a whiptail catfish and he's a little goofy, he tends to latch around the filter area but he tends to also come crashing into the sand occasionally and getting his occasional algae wafer and I've also got the main centerpiece fish as an epistogramma hongsloy um, really fell in love with this fish recently yeah, the reason why I love him so much is that he's been really peaceful, doesn't bother any of his tank mates at all. Like past the pistogrammas, or should I say dwarf cichlids, they were always a bit bullyish and um, tank bossy, but he just kind of minds himself to himself and doesn't affect anyone around him. I also forgot to mention the shy fish with a clown pleco there, Hara Hara catfish, I've got two of them, they like to hide as well. and. Finally, the honourable mention being the bamboo shrimp as well. I've got two of them, but they like to hide and just collect filter stuff. I do have an Amano shrimp, but again, in hiding. Yeah, so that was just like a short little run over of the inhabitants of the tank. And it's a really nice balance that I've got at the moment between all the fish I have inside the tank. And showing you the tank that I've got today anyway, it's an example of four to almost five years of experience within the hobby now. And... I'm really proud to show this off as a really nice aquascape. In this scape I used um, the likes of Bogwood and Surrey Stone and a lot of like gravel as well, but not sharp gravel, it was like rounded the river gravel and I mixed that and stirred that around within the sand to make it look as natural as possible. So I've used a lot of foreground plants, midground plants and background plants too. Um, I wish I was able to name all them, but <laughs> there's a fair amount of plants as I've got a small addiction to keeping aquarium plants. But yeah, basically this is just a short little introduction to my YouTube channel, basically. I'm going to be making fish videos on this channel, so if you want any top 5 videos on plants or top 5 videos on easy to keep fish or beginner fish or centerpiece fish, Make sure to leave a comment and a like on the video and I'll uh, get around to doing that. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Peace.